hey 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 welcome back to my channel today i'm bringing to you another great one and this time is the hibiscus drink now i must say this is a very spicy one but as always you can modify this to your taste without wasting time let's just get started first of all you are going to need some dried hibiscus leaves you can get this from an african shop or from the supermarket or you know any fruit or vegetable shop so you are going to need some ginger and i have here my ginger cut into pieces you are also going to need some ethiopian pepper and i have here two rolls of cinnamon i've got some black pepper and i've got some cloves i must say if you want it more spicy just use more if you want it less spicy just reduce it now i've got here some pineapple as well you can use the peel of the pineapple but i do not trust you know the farmers because nowadays they put so so much chemicals on our fruits and vegetables so i decided not to use them now i'll get a huge pan and i'll come in with my washed hibiscus leaves i must say you must be careful to wash your world because sometimes it contains sand and you wouldn't want to drink sand Next, I'll come in with all my spices, the ginger, the Ethiopian pepper, the black pepper, the cloves. Then, I will drop in the pineapple. I will cover it up with water. Now, I must say, if you want it thicker, you should add less water. But if you want it, you know, a little bit lighter, you can add some more water. I will cover this up and let it cook on low fire for about an hour. So it's been after one hour and as you can see, it has infused very well. As you can see, it looks blood red. I want it to infuse some more so I'll just cover it up again and let it cook for about 30 more minutes. So it's been after 30 minutes and as you can see, it is, you know, very red now. This is ready. I'll just put off the fire and leave it alone to cool down for about 30 minutes or even an hour. With the help of a strainer, I will just transfer the juice into another pan. I will strain it again for the second time into a jar. So basically, our drink is ready. So these are the components and as you can see, it's so so red. I must warn you, this can stain your outfit so you must be careful when doing this. Finally, I will come in with some sugar. I must say the amount of sugar you put in is just up to you. And of course, you cannot drink this without ice cubes. Ladies and gentlemen, our hibiscus drink is ready. I must say this is not only tasty and delicious, but it's very healthy as well. It really helps in boosting the immune system. During the cold seasons, you can drink this very well. It helps treat cold. I hope you are going to give this a try and if you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me a big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye!